Day 972. Welcome to Ukraine Wireless, your go-to source for frontline updates on the ongoing Ukraine-Russia conflict. But if you're passionate about staying informed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Russian forces, however, continued their destructive campaign. Airstrikes, artillery bombardments and missile launches have devastated Ukrainian cities and villages. Entire communities in the Sumy and Chernihiv regions are enduring relentless attacks with Boyarolechachi, Krastopolia, Basivka and Mezenevka, among others, being targeted. These towns are now symbols of defiance, as Ukrainian forces defend them valiantly. Russian artillery and jet systems have focused their fury on the Sumy region, with a special focus on towns like Boyaro Lisachi, Novenk, Miropilia, and others. Communities that once buzzed with life now stand as silent witnesses to the devastation. This region, close to the Russian border, has become a crucial battleground, with each square kilometer defended fiercely by Ukrainian forces. If Russian forces aren't letting up, airstrikes with Kabama bombs have rained down on the Sumy region, with key areas like Kotin rivers and Bilopilia enduring severe strikes. Despite the destruction, Ukrainian forces are not backing down. They are holding firm in the face of adversity, refusing to yield ground. But in the Kharkiv direction, Russian forces have launched two aggressive assaults on Ukrainian positions near Vovchans and Liptiv. These are strategic areas, and the Russians are desperate to break through. However, Ukrainian forces have repelled both attacks, demonstrating their tactical strength and resilience. Further south, in the Kupiansk region, Russian forces attacked twice near Lozova and Vishniv. While one battle has concluded with Ukrainian success, another rages on with no clear outcome yet. The fog of war hangs heavy, but Ukraine's defenders are not giving an inch. The Lyman direction, the situation is equally intense. Russian forces have mounted seven separate attacks on Ukrainian positions near Grykivka, Novomikhailivka and Petropavlivka. While six battles have already ended, another one is still unfolding. Ukrainian forces remain unyielding, holding their defensive lines and inflicting losses on the Russians. It's a brutal, grinding battle, but every skirmish is vital in maintaining control of these regions. In the Sivers direction, Russian troops are probing for weaknesses, but they've been met with failure. Two attacks near Vorkonyansky and Perezny were repelled, marking yet another day where Ukraine's defenses hold firm. In Kramatorsk, Russian aviation unleashed a fury of Kabama and Narama bombs on Paseno May and Chase of Yar. The air is thick with tension as explosions echo across the skies, with both military and civilian infrastructure in danger. Meanwhile, in the Toretsk direction, Russian forces attempted to break through Ukrainian lines, but were met with stiff resistance. The town of Toretsk itself became the target of yet another Kabama airstrike, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. But even as buildings crumble, the spirit of the Ukrainian defenders remains unbroken. One of the fiercest battlegrounds is the Pokrovsk direction, where Russian forces launched 27 separate attacks across the front lines. Ukrainian positions in Sukhoi Balka, Vozdvishenko, Selidovi, and Mikhailivka were under heavy assault. Despite overwhelming odds, Ukraine's defenders suppressed the Russian advances and repelled 18 of these attacks. Prime clashes are still ongoing, and both sides are locked in a deadly stalemate. In the Kurakiv direction, the Russian army mounted 15 attacks against settlements such as Gurnik, Novodmitrivka, and Antonivka. Seven of these attempts to advance have already been repelled. Ukrainian forces are proving to be a formidable barrier to Russian ambitions, and each repelled attack weakens the invading forces' morale. Similarly, in the Vrimivka region, Russian forces launched eight attacks near Boguyavlenki, Nova Ukrinka, and Zolota. When a while five have been thwarted, three battles are still raging. The pressure is immense, but Ukrainian forces are holding the line with strategic precision. In the Orihiv direction, Russian troops tried to storm Ukrainian positions near small Tukmachka, but their efforts proved fruitless. Ukrainian forces stood firm, and for now the front remains stable. This direction hasn't seen significant changes, but that could shift at any moment. Present interestingly, across the border in Russia's own Kursk region, Russian cities and villages are coming under fire and ironic twist in this brutal conflict. Since the day began, Russian planes have conducted 22 strikes and 32 Kabama bombings on their soil. It's a stark reminder of the chaos that the war is causing not only in Ukraine, but within Russia's borders as well. Stay informed. Stand with Ukraine. The fight continues, and so does our commitment to bringing you the truth from the front lines.